I pull inspiration from everything, from art, from nature, from looking at people on the street, from other makeup artists. You can find beauty in everybody. My name is Joe Delu II. I'm a makeup artist, a makeup designer for theater and for TV, a fine artist, and I began my career here at MAC Cosmetics. Hi everyone, I am here to show you the Alphaba makeup from Wicked, but with a twist. I've started by prepping her skin, toning, moisturizing, and then also I use the Studio Fix Fluid Foundation as a base. It's slightly lighter than her skin color, but that will work well with the Landscape Green Chroma Cake. And then I added a little bit of strobe cream on the highlights, just so that her skin will have a little bit of gleam. I uh, never took uh, official makeup classes. My background was graphic design and art, so I understood color theory, I understood light and shadow. Then I got a job as cashier for MAC, and I would come in in the morning and allow the artists to do whatever makeup they wanted to on me, and I would watch what they would do. And then it just sort of grew from there. So we're going to start off with the landscape green chroma cake and some water and a hake brush that I bought from the art store. So just dip the brush into the water, coat the brush with product, and then this is gonna go very quick. Um, it's important to put the foundation underneath the green because if anybody has any dry spots or any oily spots, the green might catch on it a little bit. And so you wanna make sure that you have a smooth canvas to work on, almost like prepping a canvas before you paint it. You also wanna make sure that you work quickly because if the product dries and you try to apply it after, it might catch a little. So I always try to do it as quick as possible. And then we can always go back and, and fix it with the paint sticks after. Now to get into the smaller spaces and into the hairline, the ears, I'm gonna use a smaller brush with the landscape green. So while I was at MAC, I did fashion shows, I did body painting events, and so I was honing my skills there. After I left, I moved to LA to do more film and television, and I had to learn on the spot and learn how things worked. Then I came back to New York and took over for Kate Best, doing the makeup for Vanessa Williams for Into the Woods. And there, I had to learn how to run a show in professional theater, what was involved in it. And the costume designer for that, Susan Hilferty, um, was going to be designing the costumes for Wicked. And I had read the book and I loved the book. And I just said, I would love to work on this show, meaning just what I had already been doing. And then she called me one day to come in and interview to design the show. And so it was kind of being in the right place at the right time, but also all these skills that I had built up that really helped to get me into theater. And, and since then I've been designing and working in film and television as well. Now I'm going to use two of the paint sticks and combine them and make a little bit of a highlight color. So I'm using True Chartreuse and the Landscape Green. I'm gonna apply this under the eyes and anywhere where I feel like I need a little bit of a touch up, but also a little bit of a highlight. And then I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of the True Chartreuse to add a little bit more of a highlight. And one thing that's important when you're trying to blend this in is to make sure that you dab and don't swipe because if you swipe you may pick up some of the foundation that's underneath and some of the landscape green. So our next step is going to be to powder everything down. So I'm going to use the MAC Prep and Prime Transparent Finishing Powder and be really generous with your powder. Once you've gotten a good layer of powder on there then you can use a powder brush and just brush it all off. I think the most valuable thing for me of my time at MAC was the people. I think we had such an amazing and talented group of artists that it was always fun to work with them. It was always fun to see what other people were going to come up with. It, it taught me a lot in my own makeup skills. And I think that was the best part. You had people from all walks of life who came there and all different styles. And just to be able to work together and create things was, was magical. So the next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to take the loose powder and I'm just going to put it underneath the eyes. This is to help stop any of the eyeshadow falling on to the face. I'm going to start with Shroom as a base for the lid and a little bit up on the brow bone. I'm also going to apply a little bit of it on the nose and on the chin. And 
let's also throw some in right over the lip. Next, I'm going to use Power to the Purple, and this is going to go into the crease. I'm also going to add some of the purple underneath the eye. Next, I'm going to use Saddle, and we're just going to add a little bit of that into the crease just to add a little bit of depth. Next, I'm going to use Carbon, which is a black eyeshadow, and that's going to be for the liner and also for the eyebrows. We're going for more of a smoky effect, so instead of actually doing a line straight across, you want to make sure that you press in the eyeshadow into that lash line. And then we're going to line underneath as well. You can add a little bit of black right into the outer corners. Now when filling in the eyebrows, I like to do a solid line on the bottom and then just blend it up. What this does is it gives you a bit of a softer brow instead of something that is really hard and solid. Now that we've done with our eyeshadows, we can actually brush off all of the powder underneath the eyes. I'm going to use Shroom again as a little bit of highlight on the cheeks. And then I'm going to use Power to the Purple with a fan brush as the contour. And also using it down the nose. And then just a little bit on the jawline. So the next step is we're going to apply the number seven lashes and duo adhesive. You wanna make sure that you apply the inner corner of the eyelash first, where you want it placed. Next, I'm going to apply in Extreme Dimension 3D Black. Now you can do this before you do the lashes or you can do it after. I like to do it after just so that her lashes will blend in with the lashes that we put on. My favorite MAC product are the eye coals. I love them. Um, there's nothing better, like I could use an eye coal and do an entire smoky eye, I don't need anything else. Um, but yeah, they're my favorite. Next, I'm going to use the Smolder Eye Coal Pencil to deepen the black around the eye. And now I'm going to use the Smolder Eye Coal Pencil also as a liner for her lips. and fill it in with minted eye coal. Next, I'm going to use two pigments, chartreuse and emerald green. I'm gonna mix them together and brush it over the face to create a little bit of a glow. Now, this would be how we would do it somewhat for act two. Now, I'm gonna add a little bit more just to show how you can take it in a different direction, make it a little bit more modern, make it a little bit more cool. So I'm going to use the Hyper Real Glow Palette, the color Get It Glowing. And I'm just going to apply that on the different highlight areas. And now I'm going to use some of MAC Lip Glass. Of course, we can't do this during the show because she has to kiss Fierro, but when we're doing it for this, we can. I think the most important thing for people to know about me as a makeup artist and makeup designer, especially other artists and designers, is that um, I'm no better than anybody else. The thing is, is I have more experience and I have more knowledge, probably. I've just done more, but that doesn't mean that I'm better in any way. And I think that's something that artists should understand, is that you're, you know, to be humble and to be kind and to understand that. And that's how I've sort of lived my life and that's how I continue to live my life. I'm also gonna take some of the lip glass, close the ring, and apply it to the center of the lid. Then use the chartreuse pigment on top. And here we have the final look for Alphaba with a twist, giving her a little shine, a little shimmer, a little gleam. Now it's up to you.